Hi, welcome to Ditsy's Diamond Den. So we are going to have a tutorial today. How do we get these canvases back into these itty bitty tiny little bags with all of those drills and the toolkit and everything else? I've seen a lot of people ask on how you do it and they seem it's a, an impossible task. So you guys can mute this video and just watch because with this, for anybody that does have sound sensitivities, it is going to be a little bit loud. We will try to dim the volume when it gets a little bit loud. So just be aware of that and I do apologize. So the very first thing we're gonna do is we are going to fill this tray back up. So we're gonna get the stopper in here. We are going to lay down this baggie. We are gonna put that in there. We're gonna put this up here. We're gonna put our multi-placers inside the washi tape and we're gonna fit this right up above that. So now we've got this whole entire thing filled. We are going to open this up and we are just going to slip that just like that back inside. We're gonna take our tweezers I'm going to take our tweezers and slip them down on the edge with the pointy part down and then take this pin and shove it in on the other side. There you go. Everything is in there nice and neat and we are just going to zip lock it back together. It is done. I'm going to take this and this and put that back together or off to the side. So here's the hard part. How do you get these drills back into this bag? So what I do is I take this bag. It is going to get noisy. Go ahead and mute now if you want. We're going to take this bag for anybody that is still listening and we are going to flatten this out. So we've got this nice and flat now. Now we're going to take our drills. Now it is really important to find your heaviest bag of drills because the heaviest bag of drills is going to also be your longest bag of drills. So I've got two heavy bags. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull them and make sure that the longest one is towards the back of me. So I've got the longest one in the back. The other two, are not as heavy so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take these other two bags of drills and i'm going to pull them just like this so now i've got all of my bags together nice and tight so now i'm going to measure these out by going like this so to get these back in here, I'm gonna actually have to go a little bit shorter. So I'm gonna give myself two right about here. And then what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna grab these, making sure that the longest one is in the back. And I'm just gonna flip this over like that. And now I've got my base and I'm just going to flip it over again. And I'm gonna make sure that everything is pushed together all nice and neat. And I'm going to continue pulling them over like this until I have my baggie. So now all of the drills are nice and even. I've got my two little extras over here. So I'm gonna lift this and I'm just going to Slide these in and drop. So now I've got them all in there. I'm just going to give them a little push down. Sorry about my hair. I do not have it pinned up. So once I've got these pushed down, I am going to roll this really, really tight. And what I do to keep this really, really tight, even though you don't have to, is I'm gonna put a very small piece of tape on this end and on this end. So, we've got a little piece of tape right there and a little piece of tape right there. 
Now I'm going to move this forward. And I'm going to tape these. Now I made sure I rolled this tight and then taped it. So then I'm going to put this right inside of here. And here's the tricky part. So what you want to do is you want to hold the middle and give that a nice little pull. But before you cross all the way over, move your hands out to the very back of the drills. Tuck your fingers into the edging to make sure that your edging stays inside. So now you've got your ends are going to be as small as your middle. That is usually what trips people up is the fact that they do their ends get really, really fat and their middle is nice and tight. And the trick is to kick those fingers out and make sure that you are pushing that down on the outside while you're going. So I'm just going to roll this up. And as you can see, this is very, very small. My edges, I like that. Got a little bit of layover, but that's okay. So this thing was really, really big and it the box is actually bulging out a little bit. It is so big. So Dear Helper is gonna grab me the box. And I'm gonna keep a nice tight lid on this. I am actually gonna grab that and I'm gonna push this inside. And now this box was bulging and I could barely get it out and boom, it is in there. As for this, I am going to pull this out just a wee little bit. I'm going to push the soft end in and around that and just kind of get that in a little bit. And then I'm gonna push that last little bit in there and Close it up. So if you've been wondering how to get some of these really large, now this one is not in their big box, which makes it very difficult because it is a large canvas and tiny box. And we've got it all back in there. Easy peasy. If you have any other questions about diamond painting and would like for me to do a tutorial, please let me know in the comments below. I am always happy to do more of those. Thanks guys. Make sure you like and subscribe and have a good day. Bye.